Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of Building My Van. So, in the last episode we connected the um, solar panel to the roof, we connected, connected it to the MPPT charger, and we then connected that to the leisure battery. Now, down here I've got all that stuff, however it's not done because I'm recording this before finishing the last episode. Crazy, I know. Anyways, the reason for that is because it started to rain a little bit. I need to go out and get some connectors for this, which obviously you would have saw in the last episode that I went and done. And a skip arrived for me, which was just plonked on my drive just here. So, inside of that skip now is all the rubbish, all of the crap, essentially, from converting this van that I don't want. So, awesome, cool. So I've gone ahead and filled that up. So I'll go ahead and show you now what my drive looks like. And I'll also show you the absolute carnage of a mess that is inside of this van. Let me just climb out. So here's a mess in the uh, inside of the van. Yeah, not ideal. It will get better. Over this side of the van, this is where I had all the rubbish, which is now. Hello, mate. All right. Postman just came. This is where I had all of the rubbish, which is now all clear. So going around to this side, I've I've got all of this wood here now. Originally, with this wood, I left it over on that side of the van to end up going in this skip. However, I have a plan for it, and I will show you and talk you through that plan now. So, I've got a lot of sort of, is it timber wood? Planked wood? I'm not sure what really what you would call it. So, what I've got here in the van is a raised elevated area, which is what the cab is on. See? That's raised and elevated. So, what I need, what I want to do, is I want to be able to have the driver's chair swivel round onto a desk and then move these two chairs behind the desk. So it becomes, it becomes a bit of a seating area. Now, when I put these chairs onto this floor, the desk will be higher for the double chairs than it will be for the single chair and now if me and my partner or me and my mates or whoever go out in this van want to sit at the table together it's going to be the table will be at a good height for the driver say but it'll be too high for the passengers or it'll be a right height for the passengers but it feel awkwardly awkwardly low for the driver so what i want to do is make an elevated platform which will go here roughly this will sit on the top of the elevated platform so will the desk and the chair will be the same height then and then I'll be able to walk on here I'll be able to walk on here but there'll be a little bit of an elevated platform now when I was going through this side of the van and clearing all of the rubbish outside into that skip I came across this piece of wood and now it's a little bit flimsy here I need to sort that out so I won't stand there but let me stand in the middle here this is pretty strong really strong now the plan of action is you're not going to be able to stand on there anyway because chair will swivel around desk chairs so you don't actually really stand you won't really stand on that piece of wood you will only go in, it only needs to go there to elevate the desk so it all, it's all nice and even essentially that's the plan so what I came across was that piece of wood which I was like oh that's not too bad. And then I thought, if I need to make it a little bit bigger, the elevated area a little bit bigger, I've got ply, which I'm not going to be using, which will go ahead. I can go use as the layer to go with that. And, oh, there I am. And if I do need to extend it, I've now got, I've got loads and loads of planks, which will also save me money. And the whole purpose of this, well, not purpose, but the main objective and goal here is to make a cool looking camper van that I can go out in but also on a budget which 
that's perfect. I'm not paying for that wood. That wood was gonna go in the bin, but I'm now actually thinking I can keep it and do something with it. I just need to fix this side here. It's a little bit, bit unstable there, but that is absolutely no issues whatsoever. Easily fixable. And as you can also see, probably the most important part, it is practically the perfect height. Like, like my luck has come in perfectly. So yeah, this episode, what we're gonna do whilst I'm waiting to finish the battery in real life, the battery's done now for you, but for me currently, in current time, it's not done. So what I'm gonna do to maximize my time, the sunlight and decent weather, is I'm actually gonna go ahead and attempt to start to build something that will go here. So enough waffling because I do waffle a lot in these videos. Uh, enough waffling, we are gonna go ahead and attempt to do that. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, everybody, we are here. So I have got, like I said in the last time, we are gonna be building the uh, living space, the living area. So at work, I've been very fortunate enough to find these two. Down here, I've got these two pallets which I think will be very good. Now, you can kind of tell here, let me get that one nice and low. You can kind of tell that it, the pallet, the pallet goes a little bit too high for the seat. However, I think it won't be an issue. I think, I'm not too sure though. Um, I just need to try and work a few things out. Now, a few ideas I've got is, I want to take off a couple of these wooden planks to then be able to have like a little hatch to have a little bit of like almost like um, shoe storage and this gives me a nice sturdy base to mount especially this bit here this is a really good piece uh this nice, nice little small pattern would be really good for that double seat to get mounted and bracketed on to here which is fine which is really good and it still gives me a nice little bit of space here to be able to then have the kitchen there and have a little walkway through sort of here it'd be a bit diagonal i want to get like a nice diagonal piece to go like that essentially now now what i need to do here for this is i'm going to need to go ahead and take off the double seat to try and figure out how it's going to go ahead and go onto the pallet that shouldn't be too much of a problem i hope um second of all i'm going to need to try and get off the main driver's seat here so i want to then take it off put a swivel plate down and then that chair put back on top on top of the swivel plate to swivel that round the desk will go here underneath here like i've actually well this is accidental i ripped off one of the planks okay now i want to take off two here roughly so i can just flip this pallet over because i've already got rid of one get rid of number two here so get rid of those two bang gone over this side which will be here that is where a good spot for the desk to be almost mounted into, or even in the center actually, probably here, somewhere here would be the best spot for the uh, desk to get mounted into. Desk there, chair to swivel onto the desk, and then the nice double seat here, move to there. So then, as I just step up the van real quick, ugh, you're gonna be looking at then here, we'll hopefully have a nice double seat desk main seat area which that would then be kind of covered over that'd be kind of covered over so that looks pretty i'll have a little latch bit a little latch bit for um for like basically like shoe storage i think i think like just something simple like uh shoe storage would be ugh, my best option um and then i also want to get some nice little lights for it as well however um obviously that's a little bit of a project down the road when i do a bit more electrics the main goal and objective for this episode right now is to try and make these two wooden pallets look nice and pretty uh in this section hello everybody not a huge issue but it's just a teeny one the uh bolts to get this uh chair out is too big for any of my spanners or sockets so i need to go out and buy something oh my silly nelly it is pouring down but i'm going to show you anyway oh my god oh right so cool open up the passenger door here we are the beautiful interior so you can see here here is our bolt the largest none of these sockets are anywhere near as good this is my largest spanner so let's just 
do this one as an example. As you can see, it's just ever so slightly too small, meaning I'm probably one size away from having uh, what I need. I'm gonna go inside, it's getting wet. So I'm probably about one, I'm probably about one size away from what I need. So I'm gonna need to go out and buy that, which is absolutely fine. Right, so we are back now, finally. Oh my God, it fits. So we are gonna go ahead and try and take apart this, I hope. Uh, yeah, right, so I'm gonna go at this. Interesting. Huh. I thought that was gonna work, but it done. Okay, never fear. The power of YouTube helped me. So I've got this little like is it a ratchet? I'm not sure. You go like this, right? And on here, you go like you can spin this round like that. So then that is to go uh clockwise that's to go clockwise uh, which i want to go counterclockwise so i just spin this like that and now i can go counterclockwise so what i need to do it's a bit awkward in it come on there we go like that it's really awkward but I actually can't believe I managed to, to do this. I, I was panicking because the drill will not working. Um, nothing, nothing was working. So I'm starting to think, oh God, how much of a failure is this going to be on camera? But as far as I'm aware, this is working. Oh God, the chair is actually falling. Um, right. So, I don't know if you can see, that is wobbling. Well, yeah, you definitely can see. It looks like you can just lift it up. You can't. Oh, here we go. However, we're talking here. We've actually done it. I don't believe it. I don't actually believe it. So how heavy are we talking there? Yeah, pretty, pretty fucking heavy. Oh shit. Oh my God, come look at this. So, <laughs> I'm trying to lift this chair up, right? There's a bloody cable thing attached to it. What even is that? Oh my god. Uh, something to do with. I don't know what that is. I'm going to take it off anyway. Because I want it gone. But I don't know how important that little cable is. Okay. Um, I may have just snapped it off. Um, we're absolute worst case scenario. If I do need it. I can Gorilla Glue it back on. However, I don't think I do. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put you back up here, like that roughly. That'll do. And we're gonna try and move this chair. Oh God. Doing this by myself maybe is not the best idea. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, also, update. I'll talk, you, I'll talk to you whilst I do this. My battery is fully charged. So, there, it's, a, it's very overcast weather at the moment. Oh yeah, that is heavy. It's very overcast weather at the moment. So it's taken roughly, it's just about between 15 and 20 mega amps. Um, sorry, amp hours a day in overcast. And also there's a fair bit of shade as well where on the drive. Like right now, it's actually sunny but I'm in the shade on the drive. 
So, um, with that being said, I don't think that's too bad at all because I think that's, I don't think that's too bad at all to be honest. Overcast, we're looking at five days for a full charge. Um, and if we're out and about, we're probably gonna be in direct light all the time and not just shade. Um, so that's beneficial. Um, I feel like I need to move this palette. Right there. This is really awkward really heavy and really awkward um okay that's pretty stable so you know that's okay there it is go on Okay, so the chair is gone, and this is the view from the outside. Ooh. Magnificent. So, it's actually going relatively according to plan. Now, you might be thinking, JJ, that's a wooden pallet that you're putting a chair on. Yes, uh, I've been told by my good friend Chris that um, that's not legal. <laughs> So um, I'm not going to be classing it as a uh, passenger chair. It's going to be more of just like a living chair, essentially. So I can have it. It's fine on the pallet and everything. I just can't have passengers strapped into that chair when the vehicle is moving, which is fine. I can live with that because I'm going. I'm going to get another chair here that will be legal, so I can go once you're here, once you're here, and then just walk, walk in between, like so. So yeah, cool. Um, right. So that's that. Now, the next issue, not really an issue, because I think I can find a, a problem, uh, a fix for it straight away, is right now, also, I've not bolted it down. So you can see here, it, it's a bit wonky, so. Okay, oh my God, this is a bad idea. But if I was to sit here, yeah, okay. If I sit here, you can't really sit, oh my God, you can. Okay. If I sit there, it's not gonna go well. I think the fix is, I just kind of, I bolt it down first of all, which will obviously help, but I don't wanna put too much strain on the chair's bolts, especially if it's just in wood. So I'll also have it leaning up against the wall because normally it would be leaning up against this chair. So although it's bolted down, the two bolts here into metal, which probably would just do the necessary job. Um, I'm also gonna have it leaning up against there um so yeah so i'm gonna quickly move it a sec okay right so the chair is moved so when i uh so when i sit on it now there's a little bit of wobble but again that'll be bolted down um and then this is up against the wall so it should be okay obviously i understand that after time this will eventually uh, take a bit of strain. It will eventually, after some time, um, it will slowly probably pull out of the wood, understandably. So what I'm thinking is, I could figure out a way, one, to bolt the back down, because there's only two bolts at the front, so maybe I could figure out something to go here, get these two here, and second of all, maybe I could figure out something to build, to just support this from there. Hello everybody. So, where did I put, oh, here. There is the swivel plate. Beautiful. I need to take this chair off. Now, what I need to do is unscrew. There's one screw there, one screw there. Same that side, and I'll pull the chair back, and there'll be another two at the front. Now, problem is, they've got a special head. And I was there thinking, here we go, classic. 
don't know what I'm doing. But then I remembered I had this box of mysteries with all sorts of random stuff in it. Anyways, anyways, I won't digress. It had this in it. Can't really see. Anyway, this is the screw uh, thing to take this out. Now, my next issue. I've just tried sticking it in the drill. And it didn't quite work taking this out. And it's in there, obviously, pretty tight. To the point where I haven't got any like, grip. So, um, yeah. Now, uh, I'm getting a bit stuck. Uh, and I don't know what to do. I was thinking some pliers, maybe. Pliers? Um, uh, right. Stick you... That, I guess. Uh, that's not going to work. And I tightened him up. Like this. Like that, nice and tight. Now, the problem is I don't want to, like, go too... I guess I could maybe lower this down. So I've got these numbers on the drill. So maybe if I put it down to one. Um, Counterclockwise. No. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know what I do here. Also, the more I fuck about with the, um, the more I mess around with the drill, I might start rounding this. And this actually fits in there. Maybe. I just need to take this off to put the swivel plate on. And what am I supposed to do in this scenario? What? Is there a tool in this box I'm supposed to use? A minute oh my silly nelly everybody everybody i found this in here oh my days man right that is on there it's up leg in the way kind of Jesus, what? What the bloody, bloody, bloody fuck? This one here? Come yeah. on. Well, uh, got to say, it's really handy finding this. However, this is so bloody tight that it doesn't actually matter if I'm still not coming undone without a power tool. Hello everybody, I think I have a plan. So, on the back side of this um, screwdriver handle is um, a hexagon shape, like for um, nuts. Now this one, I needed to use a 19 millimeter um, socket spanner thing for right and it doesn't fit in here it's like a size too big now i have a 17 millimeter spanner which it practically lines up perfectly from what i can make out so if i find a 17 millimeter bolt i wedge it in here and i get the screw side of the bolt into the drill and tie in it surely that would work okay welcome back everybody so we've gone out and bought this a nut or a bolt is it a bolt don't know anyways so what we're going to do with this we've got this which is the screwdriver part 
for this. So, this little rod is going to go into the screwdriver like this. So now it's a screwdriver for the very difficult to get out um, screw. Now, on the bottom side here, you can see it's got a hexagon shape. This screw fits in there amazingly. Perfect. So the plan of action now is to attach it to the drill. So we're going to go, I'll wait for the car to drive past. Drill into the screw, into the screwdriver and the screwdriver into the other screw. That's the plan of action. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and make this. So that in like this, here we go. Ah, right. That's literally not worked at all. And I'm very scared about rounding this. Let's try this one a sec. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the master plan didn't work. Don't fear, everybody. I had a backup. I bought this thing for 12 quid. It's got a load of heads in. I'm hoping this head here that is a perfect size so get the attachment this one will go into the attachment like so like that and then this will go into the drill head so now i'll take out my bolt so basically i, waste, I wasted six pound on the bolts but do not lesson learned no worries and i've got them for in the future if i ever need, need them for the future I got them. What on earth? Oh, is it? Move up to ten then. I might be silly. That clockwise is a drill. Counterclockwise is the undrill. What am I doing wrong? What we're going to do now is take the front two out, but then going to slide the seat forward and get the two uh, rear ones out. Oh my days. I think we have a solution. Bear with me. Hello, everybody. Right. So I've been to proper job and I bought this thing here. It was £1.50, which seems like a very good deal. And it's basically like. It's not bendy, it's hard. It's almost like an Allen key. And it's got this end here, which will fit into the, um, the screw. And I've got other screw heads, and it basically, it can fit drill bits in there. So, almost anything. So, I thought this could be a quite a handy tool to have in general. Now, here we are. It fits in there like a glove. Now, I'm hoping this is what I need. Oh my god, that's it! Oh my god, guys, we've done it. I can't, I actually, that was it, that was it. So just go in now. Now, in my head, can I go like this? No. That thing does not like a job, does it? I don't know why. Now, this would be easier with a ratchet. Um, however, for the life of me, I could not find um, like a, an attachment for a ratchet where I could put like a drill bit in if that makes sense um, so I will probably be stuck doing this by hand but I don't mind because the job is finally going to get done and we can put a swivel plate on so, I've already moved the chair slightly, because I've taken all the screw down, I just wanted to make sure it was all out, and it is. So, what I'm going to do, is hopefully, you can kind of see me. Now, I'm just going to be able to lift. Oh, no, I'm not. The chair is attached again. Do something. Cable ties. Cables. What the fuck? There's cables on there. Interesting. Uh, right. Okay. Slight issue. There's cables. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm a bit out of breath. I'm, I am actually, to be fair. 
I've just attached this little yellow connector thing. I've cut up some cable ties and this chair is now released. So we can actually uh, move it now, I hope. So let's give that a go. And then we'll get that plate down, I guess. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Outside, for now, because it's not raining for once. Yep, there it is. So, chair is done. I've got my, my my bracket here, which is all fine. Now this thing here, now just needs to go on top, basically. Okay, so I've got you top down view. So, here I have the instructions. So we've done number one. So number two is phase two. Position the plate over the structure. Turn the plate anti-clockwise for disengage um, for disengage the holes at the sides. That might be a little bit of broken English there, but it's fine. I still understand what he's trying to get at here. So we want to have it so the plate is this way up. So the plate's coming like this. And it needs to go anti-clockwise. That. And I can now see the lines, the holes now line up. You might be able to see uh, in the corners, the lines, the holes do line up. So, next up. Uh, fix the plate of the structure using the original screws and using the original screws, okay? Position the seat over the plate and mount with the screws supplied. Okay, so now I need to use the original screws to put these in. So, so I can now go like this. Maybe the jaw would work now. using this tool to try and tighten them like that okay that is, is secure on there let's get that off right so uh right cool number four position the seat over the plate and mount with the screws applied and original uh okay whatever that's crossed out tighten with allen key six and the reversible ratchet 13 ratchet 13 check the correct functionality functioning of the plate repeat for three to five cycles and opening and closing operation so now all it is is putting the seat back on here now okay so i put all the screws in the bar one so i can show you what to do so you see here there's a little little screw hole so we're going to need the screws are here. Oh my god. I've had a nightmare. Okay, we want one of these flushes, one of these bolts, I think, and one of these. So, what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go that one in there, the screw through there, and now this one is a little bit tricky. So, I'll grab the tools, I'll grab the necessary tool, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so. What I've got here is, it's like a ratchet set, but it's on like a screwdriver. So this here is a number, is a 13 millimeter, which this one then, you've got like a little round side and the bolt side. So you want to put the round side in first, so the bolt side is facing upwards. You're also going to need a thick Allen key. So the Allen key sits here like this, and then this one goes in hopefully you can see this all right it was in under here and you can basically start screwing like this i apologize for the noise that you're about to hear 
new build site and all that. Okay, then it will start to get tight. So what we need to do now is I need to readjust so I'm more comfortable. Oh my days, how loud does that want to be? So I'm, using, I'm holding the Allen key still, or so I'm like basically screwing with this screwdriver. Also, it's worth noting, the um, actual swivel plate is swiveled at the moment. Right, here we go. There you go, that's pretty tight. He's not going anywhere. So that's exactly what we need to do. So, I will show you, oh my God, kick us up. Here is the plate, the thing, this, this chair. You're gonna hear it click in a sec, you ready? Cool. Gonna grab the latch under here. You hit it and it just twist it and then let go. From here, it can just swivel round to wherever it needs to go, basically. It go, yeah, that far, but it basically will go about here. And then here will be a little desk. I can sit here and got my computer or eat some food or play some card games with my girlfriend. Um, many options. Um, so yeah, now there's one job left to do and then we'll call it an end to this episode. Now, earlier on in this video, there's all these cables that I cut all the cable ties off and I disconnected this yellow thing. Now, all I've got to do now is reconnect the yellow thing in, back into there. What I have done is I've put the cables through the hole of the swivel plate. Or right, so otherwise, if you have it on the outside here, as the chair swivel, this will then go with it. So it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. So all we've got left to do now is just to put this through the hole, like so, and then connect it back up, and essentially make it look neat and tidy, but I'll do that another time. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I'll just connect it another time. It's very simple, it just goes, That'll be it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching yet another video of converting my van. Uh, any ideas, any suggestions, please let me know. Oh, I can actually sit here. Uh, please let me know, that'd be awesome. Um, thank you everyone for watching. If you are enjoying these videos, please leave a comment, let me know what you think, any improvements, only because uh, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. And uh, yeah. If you have been enjoying and want to keep watching, be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate all the support on all the videos I've done so far. Thank you everyone for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next uh, Convert In My Van video. Bye.